Lung volumes and lung capacities are something that are very commonly tested in anesthesiology, but also very functional in our knowledge for how we treat the lungs. There are four main lung volumes and four main lung capacities that we really care about. Let's break down each of them one by one. Your tidal volume is a volume of air that is inhaled and exhaled during normal breathing. For most people, it's around 500 milliliters or about 6 to 8 mLs per kilo. The inspiratory reserve volume is a volume of air that can be inhaled after a normal inspiration. This is usually about 2 to 3 liters. The flip side of that is the expiratory reserve volume, which is a volume of gas that you can exhale after a normal expiration. This is usually about 1 liter. And the residual volume is a volume of air left in your lungs after you've fully expired as much as you possibly can. This is usually about 1.5 liters. The vital capacity is the volume of air that you can fully expire after you've taken a full inspiration. It's the sum of the tidal volume, the inspiratory reserve volume, and the expiratory reserve volume. For most people, it's about 60 to 70 mLs per kilo. The inspiratory capacity is the amount of gas that you can inspire after you've taken a normal expiration. It's the sum of the tidal volume as well as the inspiratory reserve volume. Normally, it's about 3,500 mLs. The functional residual capacity is the amount of air that's left in the lungs after a normal expiration. It's the sum of the expiratory reserve volume as well as the residual volume, usually about 2,500 mLs. Total lung capacity is a volume of air after maximal inspiration. For men, it's about 5 to 6 liters, and for females, it's 4 to 5.